for you how to think with your own brain and feel with your own heart. The majority do just what they're being told. And that's one of the reasons democracy is just one cute notion. And something that humans be not capable of. It seems to me, the majority of humans. Because it take one skeptics, one pessimist to see what it goes to. I see myself as one of the people that maybe can see between the lines and the illusions. I in the ideas and the resolutions and the lies of the ideas. I will not say that I've been always pure or perfect in this, but my skepticism and my oneness that I've learned around my life can make me a very good strategist in this part. If democracy ever wants to work, then we have to learn to think in another way. And we have to put our own desires away because Democracy in combination with capitalism is insanity. Capitalism is also one a very weird idea. Capitalism is the astounding belief that the most wickedest of men do the most wickedest of things for the greatest good of anybody. And that it be not something as bad and good, but only being human actions. That creates actually the mindset of a mentally insane person. Because the world cannot give an unlimited amount of materials and are being lost. The humans not being told one of the reasons school is also a cute brainwashed center because most of the things of school you don't need to know you don't need to know any name of any material you also don't need to know um, the difference between helium and plutonium you don't have to know the difference between helium and CO2. And CO2. You don't need also to know that um, Hendrik the Force abused his children and his wife and how horrible person he actually been. If you will find that interesting, yes, but it's not something that you actually have to know. You also don't have to know that there been a magical genie in the sky that love anybody with one. They do something that I don't like, they are going to put you in hell and let you burn for eternity. There are also, you also don't have to know a lot of uh, stuff that you get on school. If, that, if you like that, oh yes, yeah. but it has to be a choice. Actually, I've been for a kind of uh, schooling system where the children actually can, actually can choose which kind of stuff they want to do. That they can themselves choose if they want to do uh, 
mathematics or don't want to do mathematics. Or if they want to do uh, history or don't want to do history. If they want to have art classes or they want not to have art classes. If they want to have um, Christianity on in our um, last classes or don't, don't want to have Christianity if they want to have women's studies or they don't want to have to women's studies. But I think anybody have at least to get some little bit of philosophy because uh, philosophy classes from my from many sources and from many sides, not only from humans perception, but also they have to learn to think more out of themselves instead that they live in their shallow little shell and in their own reality. And they have also to learn that not the whole world thinks they are being important. And that they have been just a part, a little part, you know, a system far bigger than them. But now go back to capitalism and to a democracy. Democracy only works when it's been in small well, communities. For example, in one uh, little village where nobody can manipulate the outcome or become very hard to do that. Then they can work. But in a lot big uh, way, just like um, in most lands, democracy is just a cute knowledge, a fantasy. Because it will always uh, be corrupted. If it not been by a false directly, it will be by the people that believe the lies of their politicians. The, the politicians, the only thing that they do is lie, be rich, and take profits. They belong to the rich subculture, and they only give about themselves. They don't give about the poor man or the poor animals. Rich men give about the rich things, and that they can do the rich things. They can live their uh, kings and queen lifestyle. So the best person on the earth plays the kings and queens position, or the big wealthy industry system, is somebody that being poor. Somebody that's up nothing. Somebody that also don't want to be rich. Somebody that's altruistic. And it is not for nothing that the best leaders mean the ones that don't want to be a leader. Not, that's not an 100% fact, but in general, there have been more good leaders that don't want to be a leader, but become a leader, and not to give so much about themselves when they want not to have a lot of money. For example, Dandy. I think Dandy... Uh, he uh, have to can uh, be a good uh, leader because Dandy don't believe he need a lot. Look who he walks around in that time. Uh, he have the poor clothing. He walk. Uh, yeah, he have not so much belongings. 
was it in uh, ethical vegetarian and in their time that means actually something is the end of today because uh, in that time it means that you absolutely don't eat any animals the most of the time and not only uh, eat not uh, meat but also we don't drink dairy the nipple secretion of the uh, cows or another mammal that be not human because all animals have their own all mammals have their own um, breast milk cow's milk is for no not for baby humans or adult humans this for baby cows just like Seraph milk is for baby seraph. Just like horse milk is for baby horses. Just like dog milk is for baby dogs, for puppies. For and uh, cat milk is for baby cats or kittens. That's been a gist. There have been also a lot of uh, growth um, homes in their stuff, like insulin growth factor one, that have been proved to uh, get cancer by humans, not only by rats, because animal experiments being delusional and not trustable. Because animal research is a cork is a fraud. You don't can uh, transplant the uh, research from uh, animals to humans. For example, in a scientific uh, research, whether do a uh, research on the monkeys, and chimpanzees and bonobos or some animals like that. It is not important that 99% of the DNA is uh, equal towards of a human. This more 99% equal. It is important that the 1%, that's the one that make all the studies totally a waste of uh, money, space and innocent lives. Animal research will not and go to nothing ever save one body in their whole life. Animal research is a fraud. The scientists that still use animals in their experiments for human diseases be not only frauds, but are also addicted to an outdated form of um, research Dr. Um, Nicker Moore is nothing more than an uh, than the mad scientists in the movies that people watched in the 70s he is nothing more than one fraud. I've also sold uh, kittens for uh, medical treatments and mutilated them. He's nothing more than of a true scientist than Dr. Frankenstein. 